It would be the largest scale reality TV show this world has ever seen. In fact, so big, it would span two planets. Tonight on The Inside Story, Mars One, the bizarre multi-billion dollar mission that aims to colonize the red planet. Avery? Well, Gorda, not only is the goal to put humans on Mars, but the call's been put out for everyday citizens to sign up. The entire selection process, liftoff, and life on Mars would all be broadcast live to a worldwide audience. Mars, the red planet. Named after the Roman god of war. Hey, I'm going to run. It has fueled the imagination of generations with its deep red soil, the sci fi depiction of Martians, and the more recent evidence of water. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. The prospect of humans on Mars has been a dream reserved for the super smart or the super rich. Until now. This is a childhood dream. 55 million kilometers away from Mars here on Earth, in the tiny community of Innisfil, Ontario, meet Cody Alexander. 19 years old, he lives in the basement of his parents' house and is now officially a potential future Martian. Ever since I was a kid, I used to stare at the stars and I loved space and thought of exploration and extraterrestrials. All it took was a couple of paragraphs about himself, a one minute video, a $38 application fee and a click of a mouse. You live at home. Yes. And you're now thinking about going quite a distance away from home. Yes. Do you see how this might be a little bit funny? Yes, it's. I can see how that would be a problem. Because it cracks me up a little bit that we, your mom had to ask you to clean your room before we get... <laughs> Cody is now one of some 80,000 people around the globe who signed up for a one-way ticket to Mars. I'm a 19-year-old from Ontario, Canada. Why would I like to go to Mars? When Cody first came to you and said, Mom, I want to go to Mars, you said... I laughed. <laughs> I, I mean, how many people do their children come to them and say that they're going to Mars or want to go to Mars? He oh, asked us. Uh, yeah, can I borrow your credit card? <laughs> no, <laughs> not using my credit card to go to Mars. Are you crazy? He went out and bought himself his own prepaid MasterCard so that he could apply. Mars One invites you to join us. This project has become a global phenomenon. The brainchild of this Dutch consortium, Mars One, plans to raise $6 billion through TV rights and sponsorship. A reality TV show means worldwide viewers will eventually choose the first four humans sent to colonize Mars. Every two years after that, another group will join the settlement. Among the many obstacles, just how would materials get sent up to colonize the red planet? We decided to find out for ourselves. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. Good to see you, so this is it? This is it, this is the Connex 500, the granddaddy of all 3D printers. This nondescript looking printer makes it possible to create in 3D. If you're going to Mars, presumably you're building a camp, you're gonna be building uh, structures, you're going to need machinery. With a 3D printer you can actually create that machinery there. The printer reads the design and lays down layers of polymer and makes the image a solid object. I mean these are all working... Fully functional. This came out of the printer like this. That's correct. It had a support material on it. We washed the support material away and each and every one of these hinges are fully functioning. But colonizing Mars is a lot more than just 3D technology. There's so many skeptics, in fact, about Mars One ever getting off the ground that their own website includes this page. Is this for real? Back in Innisfil, meanwhile, Cody's hanging on to his glimmer of a dream. What do you think your odds are of getting it? Um, the internet says 0.00008%, and, but I, I keep my hopes up. But even those minuscule odds are enough to reduce a mom to tears. If he does get picked, yeah. It's very scary. He doesn't come home. It would be like him dying. Like, I would never see him again. It would just, it would be horrible. I couldn't imagine that. And even though the times have changed so much that moms now have to be comforted by sons who want to go to Mars, the tried and true parenting techniques haven't changed one single bit. I think he should be grounded, actually. <laughs> I'll stay home the rest of my life. Okay. All right. We like that. <laughs>
So that conversation that Cody is having with his family is being replayed in some 80,000 other families mm. right around the globe. That's how many people have already signed up. Uh, once they choose the 40 contestants, there's going to be uh, seven years of training. All mm -hmm. of this would be for reality television. Blast Off would be in the year 2023. So the idea is he goes for a specific period of time or an unknown period of time? Well, the bigger or question is the, you, you never come back. You, the deal is that if you really? agree, to, if you get the application and you're the one that's chosen, it's a one-way ticket because your body wouldn't be able to re deal with gravity once you come back here. Better get along well with the people who are up there. You make great, great <laughs> reality <laughs> television, that's for sure. You can reach out to Avery on Twitter, the address at City Avery. The Inside Story runs every Tuesday and Thursday here on City News. All segments are up on our website, citynews.ca.